So as the title suggests, I'm going to talk about validity and reliability of this system um, tensiomyography. Um, just to recall a little bit these definitions. Now, validity, as you probably know, uh, is um, <coughs> the extent to which uh, an instrument, a device, a test, measures what is supposed to measure. Um, now, when we look at tensiomyography, now, a way to measure validity of this um, system, well, is trying to answer this question, really. So is TMG measuring mechanical contractile properties of skeletal muscle as the, you know, our friend claimed that he is actually doing? Uh, now, the way to, to proceed is um, looking at construct validity. So we can't really uh, look at um, criterion validity or concurrent validity. It's a matter of construct validity, which means that we need to find a number of indicators to prove the construct, which is you know, the question that I started with. OK, so to, to summarize the results from the validity studies, uh, by the way, there's more out there. I, I, I decided to summarize you know, the most important studies, I would say. Um, so to summarize the results, uh, Contraction time is directly correlated to percentage of type 1 muscle fibers and MHC1. Uh, discriminates between sprinters and sed sedentary participants. Um, also, <coughs> a fatigue-induced reduction in displacement is matched by a reduction in torque and development and rate of, sorry, in torque development and rate of torque development, as we saw in the last two graphs. Um, and also, we saw that the, those two parameters, contraction time and displacement, are altered as a result of the uh, exercise-induced muscle damage. Okay, so the second part is about reliability. Again, to recall the concept, uh, reliability is actually very important, something we, we should uh, keep in mind every time we do. You, you, most of you are, are sport and exercise um, students, I guess. Um, so whenever we measure something, whenever we, we, you know, we do a test, we should really have in mind the level of real reliability of the uh, procedure we are using or the test we are using or the device we are using. So it is important to ascertain reliability of the tensiomyography as well. Uh, just to give a definition is the level of consistency between measures, uh, which could be, well, as, as you see in, 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 the, in the next slide, well, it could be between measures taken within one session. Uh, in that case, it's intra-session reliability. It could be between measures uh, taken between sessions. So in that case, we have inter-session reliability. Or um, the, measure, the measures could be taken, um, you know, like weeks apart, potentially. So in that case, it's kind of long-term reliability or, or, or long-term stability, as we called it there. Now, to summarize the results from the reliability studies, now, uh, the, the, the two uh, the muscle displacement and contraction time appear to have the highest intra-session, intra-session, and long-term stability. Um, well, not surprisingly, also the parameters that Sergey uh, mentioned before as the two main parameters when, when, you're, when you're doing TMG. <coughs> <coughs> and, and also, uh, relaxation time is consistently the least reliable parameter ac across studies. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>